Hello, in this video we give you a guided tour through the message settings on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. So there's lots of options when it comes to messaging on the Note 3, so we thought we'd show you some in this video. So with the device switched on, you need to navigate through to your messaging uh, application on the Note 3. So using the default messaging application, navigate to Messages, and when you're in here you may have a string of messages from contacts that you're communicating with. But you can go into the general settings for messaging by clicking the menu button down here and clicking the settings icon that appears. It's in here that you have a lot of control over the settings for your messaging. So we can start with deleting old messages. In order to keep your phone organized and stop it running out of memory, it's advisable to set a limit for how many messages you have on your phone. So at the moment it's ticked, and this means that I have the option to set a text message limit per conversation. So if I tap into this, I've got 150 messages between me and somebody else before it starts deleting any message over and above that number. Now I can configure that number to my choosing by tapping in here. I can cancel or click OK if I'm happy. But once it hits that limit, it'll start deleting each message per conversation. That goes the same for multimedia messages because they take up a lot more uh, memory. So if per conversation I've got over 20 multimedia messages, it'll delete the 21st one and so on. So I can actually switch that off entirely and nothing ever deletes. And you can individually delete messages or conversations uh, and we've demoed that in another video. You also have the ability to set text templates. This is to give you speed of access when writing a message. So in here we've got a few already set automatically by Samson. You can delete them by tapping the delete icon and either selecting all or selecting individual ones. We're not going to do that at this time but you get the idea. You can add your own one here. So you enter your text you, and then you, you save it. So you might have one that's better suited to yourself. So if we come back out of this, we've then got the way the messages display. So you've got the style in terms of the actual look. So you can control all of this uh, here. So this is the more conventional standard looks. You've got a blue box and a yellow box so you can see who is conversating. But you can configure this how you like. So you can see you can select one for top person and one for the other person. It's entirely up to you what you have set and you can cancel or save these. You also have the background style so the standard it's black but you can scroll through here to see the different options available to you or you can even go and add your own background be it an image from your gallery by selecting through like so. But we're just going to select it to black because that conserves battery life a little bit rather than using something like an image. So click cancel. You've uh, got the split view which uh, as it says enables split view on landscape screens. So when you put the device in landscape mode when using the messaging you can actually split the conversation view up uh, which is a handy little feature and is covered in another video. But Let's carry on here. So you can change the text size with the volume key on the side here. So if you're slightly hard of sight, um, the conversation will come through actually on the screen. But if you want the text to be bigger, simply press the volume key up for larger or down for smaller. But you can switch that feature off by tapping the tick box here. And you can, if you wish, add a signature uh, at the end of each message. So that's ticked on. You can then go and change the signature text. And it could always say from such and such or add something at the end of every message, irrespective of what you write. That's more linked to email and uh, professional text messaging services. But if you want to add that, you absolutely can do so. So you've then got your SMS and MMS settings. So this is a bit more detailed um, and I'm not going to cover this in too much detail but you can choose whether you get delivery reports from your network by ticking the box here. Uh, you can then go in and manage any messages that are actually on the SIM card rather than the phone itself. You can change your message centre number. You can also change the input mode to compose your message. So different setups there. Delivery reports for MMS whether it automatically retrieves your MMS, whether it auto uh, retrieves when roaming, 
the creation mode again an MMS alert so you get a little alert if you're writing a long message and it has to convert to an MMS rather than a text you can get a, a notification uh, alert there and then finally we've got the more option and this is for push message settings this is much more advanced but then you've got notifications so you can select the ringtone for your text messages so it's the default one but you can choose this from within the settings of the actual messaging application or indeed you can go and change it within the main settings on the phone itself you can change whether vibrate is on or off whether you get a message alert repetition so if you've missed uh, a message it can alert you every two or ten minutes to say that you've got a message come through you can also control spam settings here so if I switch that on you can add specific numbers to spam so if your number has been given out to lots of people you don't want you can add them to spam you can even add spam phrases so a big one is like PPI so if you put PPI into the spam phrases any message with PPI would automatically get spam for you now you do need to be considerate of that because that may have an effect on what messages get there and block unknown senders so if you're don't have the telephone number um, actually saved in your contacts you can have them automatically blocked so you don't see the message so there's some nice features there particularly as this is a business uh, device that could give you some real advanced um, usability and you can control them how you like but that's some of the message settings on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3